to was by Professor Chang Zhu, and it was about how the cell can be thought of as a collection of small molecular machines. He discussed this in terms of a human bleeding and how all parts of a cell act together to stop the bleeding. He used specific proteins as an example, such as glycoprotein 1B, GP1B, and the von Willebrand factor, VWF. He discussed how these specific proteins interact with each other by linking onto each other and preventing bleeding by closing the wound, like a scab. He described different types of proteins that have different jobs in these processes. The types he described were mechanopresenters, mechanoreceptors, mechanotransmitters, and mechanoresponders. Mechanopresenters were described as molecules that can present information to mechanoreceptors upon changes to its mechanical environment. This means that when a human starts to bleed, the mechanopresenters relay information to the mechanoreceptors due to a change in the flow of blood. This is the first step in the process to stop bleeding. Mechanoreceptors are sensory receptors that respond to mechanical pressure or distortion. He also showed a video of one of these proteins reacting with the red blood cell. When we act, reacting with the red blood cell, the proteins will react with the cell by stretching out, which is how it stops bleeding. It stretches out over a longer area and attaches to other proteins, which link together and form a type of barrier, preventing blood flow out of the cell. The von Willebrand factor is described as a blood glycoprotein involved in homeostasis. This protein reacts with other mechanopresenters to stop human's bleeding. One interesting thing I learned is that in some people, the von Willebrand factor has a defect that causes a problem with its reaction with mechanopresenters. This problem inhibits one's ability to stop bleeding, meaning that they must seek medical attention to keep them from bleeding out. Some of these diseases include the von Willebrand disease and thrombo thrombotic thrombocytopenic purpura.